Hi, I'm Dr. Patisse Berry and I want to tell you a story. I was a girl growing up in Wilmington, Delaware, and it was time for me to go to college. I had been afforded a real opportunity, a blessing, to be able to go away to Jacksonville University in Florida to college. There were people who were cheering for me, but there were many more people who wanted to steer me in another direction. Both were good people. Those who wanted to steer me in another direction had reasons, their reasons. One um, fell under, you know, I did a lot of volunteer work. I did all kinds of things for folks, cleaning and what have you. And they didn't want to lose somebody who was so helpful. Then there were some who had given assistance to me and they liked being able to say, look, we helped you. And they didn't like that I was given an opportunity to rise above um, my station, what they considered my station. Um, and for some, it was, you know, you're doing more than I was able to do or my children were able to do. And how dare you? Who do you think you are? And, the, and these are good people. They are good people. They helped me at a time that I desperately needed help. So... Because I was set, I knew I had been praying to go away to college and I was given this amazing opportunity. I knew it was God. And so, because I wasn't listening to them, they said God told them that I was supposed to stay home. And several of these people told me, God told them that I was supposed to stay home. Well, you're supposed to go to college near here is what God told them. Or not go is what God told them. I've had these moments um, in other times, like a guy who told me that I was definitely going to be his wife and God told him that. <laughs> nope. And more recently, um, this week, I've experienced this. Um, I did a post several days back saying, don't mess with my children, with my family. And some people decided that it was their place to do so. And they decided to do that on my page and in my messages. And so I gave them the opportunity to not have to see me anymore. And so now they're using other ways to contact me to say, what God told them to say. And I don't doubt that these are good people. It is how I can understand how good people can get caught up in group speak, group mentality, and ideology that has lasted way beyond its time. That LGBTQ um, A plus people are somehow on their way to hell simply because who they are. And, you know, they're wrong because God didn't make any mistakes. There's no place in these folks' hearts to say, maybe I'm making a mistake. Maybe I'm not really hearing from God. Maybe this is me. Maybe this is Norm saying, you know, norms can prevent the condemnation of anything right and can make anything wrong. I think that's Durkheim. I wish that all these people who have set folks against their own soul, uh, because reading the comments and hearing about the internalized homophobia that people have in their hearts trying to undo against their own thought and mind and spirit, I wish that those churches that have declared and have been declaring that these, you know, are people where well, we love you, but we hate your sin and you're going to hell. I wish they would start issuing refund checks. What refund check? Give back all the tithes, the offering, um, pay an hourly rate or a salary to the musicians, the 
hairdressers, the designers, anybody whose services, whose life, whose treasures that you've used with this godly knowledge that they're going to hell. Give it back. Give it back. Because if you are so certain of what you are certain without ever saying, hmm, let me dig a little deeper. Let me look a little further. Well, I don't need to. The word is the word. Your heart knows better. Your heart knows better. Obviously, I went to college. And once I got there, I didn't stop. I went on and got my PhD by the age of 26. And people would say, what is it that enables you to do all of this? And I knew for certain it was God. So, I, I cannot undo internalized stuff. That's work you have to do yourself. But keep seeking, keep hoping, and I will be praying and lifting you up and loving you and sending you all the light and the love. And if you don't believe in God, after all you've been through, I understand. But just know, God believes in you. I love you.